Hi everyone, Officer UFO1 here, and just as I promised here is your step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install real cars into your game. The first step is to find the correct GTA 5 in your computer that has all the complete program files and permissions. And if you want, you can create a desktop shortcut like I did. Next, download OpenIV. Um, let's take a look at OpenIV. I've already got it up and going. So here's OpenIV. A um, couple of things with your OpenIV. Um, go to Tools. Go to AS, ASI Manager. Click on it. Make sure you have all of these installed. It'll be like this is. If any of them are not installed, go ahead and install them. It'll give you the opportunity to go ahead and click on it and install it right there. It has the links and, and stuff right there. So the next thing you want to do is um, go to your GTA 5. Uh, I hit open file location. Basically we're going to install them by making the game think that it's an update. So as you can see, I have a mods folder here. It's empty. So what we're going to do, though, is is and we're not doing this, by the way, in OpenIV right now. I'm not in OpenIV. My OpenIV is still up and running, but I closed it. We're just in the regular computer um, here, computer files and stuff. Okay, and that's another point I want to make. You can you work with the, the two together and they affect each other open IV and and this so what what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, copy uh, update click on it copy and I'm gonna copy it to my mods folder paste and that's gonna take some time uh, to copy and you can see how it looks on my screen that's if it's working correctly and you're doing it correctly that's what you're going to see, and that's what you need to see. Okay. Okay, now once that's complete, um, you know, you'll, you'll notice it in your mods folder. It, it'll say update. Um, and here's the cool thing. Uh, you go to OpenIV, mods, and it's in there as well, and and that's what I w <clears throat> excuse me, that's what I was saying a moment ago. I was saying how the the two, you know, what you do in this folder translates over to this one because you link the the two together. Okay. Um, and here here's another thing I want to point out. <clears throat> the reason this is kind of the defo the way that um everyone's doing this, and here's why. Let's say you mess something up. Okay? All you need to do is delete your mods folder and the game is back to the way it was. And then if you ever wanted to start over again, you'd make a new a new mods folder and we you just repeat the process we just did and you'd copy and paste your update folder to your mods folder and you would begin again fresh. <clears throat> so that's the reason why they make a, a new folder call the mods folder. And now to the first car that we'll download and install. And then here it is, uh, LSPDFR, you go to the website, go to mods, GTA mod 5 mods, and you'll find this car uh, by BXBugs123. Uh, here it is. Just go ahead and download it. Do what we talked about before and right click on properties um, after you download it and um, I'll just show you guys it's gonna look like this when you get it it's gonna say 2014 Dodge Charger and if you right clicked on that you can click properties and you just wanna make sure everything's unblocked and then apply and then OK and again, you want to do that with everything that you try to add to LSPDFR. Now, once you do that, <clears throat> go ahead and 
open it up and then it's going to look like this okay you want to click on this open this up open IV package installer and this is what you get to choose from with the charger just blue lights are red and blue lights I'm going to put um, red and blue so I'm going to copy paste it I'm going to put it in this mods folder so good so far so good so we're going to do another car hold on and there's one more car that you guys can get right now um, doing this I'll show it to you you've seen it in my videos it's the Crown Vic so you go to BXBugs files here on LSPDFR come down and um, oh, it's this one. Uh, the Crown Vic. It's the 1.8, and it looks dark out. That's the one you want. You click on it. Same thing that we just discussed. Download it. Um, unblock any pro properties, and this is what it's going to look like when you download it. It's going to say 2011 CVPI. You open it up. This is the way BXBugs123 made it. He did a really good job. Okay, so we're going to copy. I want the blue lights on this, so I'm going to do the blue and blue. And that's basically it for now. I'm just going to make sure. Yep, everything looks good. Now you go to your open IV. I I always go to file edit mode. Hit yes. Then you go to tools, package installer. And there they are. It's all ready for you. It it knows what it's going to do. So um I'll go ahead and I'll put the the Crown Vic in first, which is the blue and blue. And watch this. Magic, folks. It's an automatic install. Click install. They ask you what you want to do. You want to put it in the mods folder like we discussed. That's the way this whole, you know, the way that we're doing it. That's the way it's set up. The idea is to get it in the mods folder. That's the way it works. That's where the update is. That way, if you have any problems like we discussed, you just delete the mods folder and you start fresh. So we'll select mods. And it's installation succeeded. That's what you want to see. I'll close it. And we'll do the same thing with package installer. And this time we'll do the, this is the charger. I went with the red and blue open install mods folder okay and so what what's gonna happen the way this is set up <coughs> is the charger will replace the police 2 vehicle in the game and the crown Vic will replace the sheriff uh, car in the game Um, so we'll then you can just X out of yep they're in there you can just X out it it saves it automatically and um, we'll fire it up and test it out alright everyone so let's uh, check it out and test it out and <clears throat> just make sure that the car is installed. So I'm going to bring up the Rage plugin menu, F4. I'll go S for spawn. I'll take the mouse, I'll click on spawn vehicle, if I can find it. Uh, sp 
spawn space police two that's the one that the charger replaced enter f4 to close the rage menu and it's spawned but I've got a little bit of freezing or a little bit of lag here oh that nope I didn't hit f4 sorry about that no freezing no lag okay good so there's the charger folks and it spawned with the um the regular old LSPD skin on it but it comes with eight different skins and so let's uh, test out the sheriff make sure it's spawned correctly and make sure we're good so again F4 on the rage plugin S uh, spawn oops spawn then I just hit space and I'll put in sheriff I believe it's just the cruiser that it replaces enter F4 and that's it that's another one of the um, cars by BXBugs1-23 it's the one with the ghost letters and the ghost numbers but there it is there's your Ford Crown Vic that we installed uh, it's a little dirty it needs a wash but it, com it comes with again it comes with eight different skins though and you can see that it just spawned really with nothing on it but there's a bunch of attachments and stuff you can hook up different um, uh, push bars lights and antennas and stuff like we discussed in a previous video so that's it there you go folks um, I hope you liked it and thanks for watching please click on like uh, if, if I helped you out and subscribe as well